Okay, so the last video in my Mikuni carburetor series is how the Mikuni carburetor works. So I'm just going to give a you know a brief rundown on how it works and the parts and pieces involved, and how they you know interact with the carburetor when you're using it on your sled or your ATV. Now the uh, main parts of this are the uh, piston valve or the throttle valve, what some people call it, the needle and seat the main jet or a hex jet some people call them and some carburetors are actually round this is the pilot jet little tiny thing this is the uh, jet needle like a needle right and this is the needle jet the jet needle uh, when you adjust the throttle actually slides up and down inside the uh, needle jet. The float bowl of course with the floats inside and the uh, carburetor housing with all the parts and pieces attached. This is your air screw right here. This is your uh, idle adjustment screw. This is where your choke plunger seats in here. This is where your fuel comes in, your fuel inlet. And that's about it. Some carburetors have um, an overflow uh, valves on them with little tubes coming off, you'll see. This uh, here actually just is vented into the air box on the snowmobile that I have. Okay, what the carburetor does is it is meant to bring air into the engine, mix it with fuel, atomize the fuel, and burn it in your engine. So it needs to be done at the correct ratios. And that's the main thing, and that's how we have to set up our carburetors. We have to make sure that they don't run rich or lean, they have to run just perfectly every time. So um, with a combination of settings and, and uh, needles and, and uh, jetting devices, that's how we accomplish this. So the fuel has to get to your carburetor, and that is done by the fuel pump. This is a pulse-driven pump that runs off your, your crankcase pulse line. Um, fuel flows through the pump into your inlet, and it fills the bowl on your carburetor. Now, it is metered by the floats. As the bowl fills, the floats go up, and they press on this arm here. This arm actuates the needle and seat. When the arm is down, like it is right now, you can see here, when the arm is down, uh, the needle is open so the bowl will fill. When the floats come in contact with the arm, it pushes up and seals off the inlet. So uh, it'll restrict the flow of fuel into the carburetor at that time. As you require more fuel, the needle will open up and more fuel will be added. It's quite simple actually. The important thing about having the, this uh, float arm set correctly is that if it's open too much, it will allow too much fuel in and uh, you will create a rich mixture in your engine and you'll probably flood it out and some people have issues with that. Fill the crankcase full of fuel or it just won't run. If it's uh, not set correctly and it's running too lean, won't let enough fuel in, then um, you run into issues with the lean fuel mixture. To really explain how this whole thing works, you have to break it down into its basic systems. The low speed system is um, from about idle to about quarter throttle. And that is metered, the fuel is metered by the pilot jet here and the, um, the air screw. Now, some people think that you use the air screw to adjust the mixture on your, on your carburetor. Well, that's not really correct at all. Once this is set to, to factory specs, it more or less stays right there. You don't, uh, you don't adjust this like an old Tillotson, you know, your low speed and your high speed settings. That's, that's not how a Makuni carburetor works. If you really want to adjust the, um, the low uh, speed system on your carburetor, what you have to do is you have to adjust your pilot jet. Now these come in different increments from like, uh, you know, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 example. Um, as the number increases, uh, more fuel flows through. The reason that they have the low speed fuel system is because when you're at about idle to quarter throttle, um, there just isn't enough negative pressure on the engine side of this carburetor to pull fuel through the uh, jet needle and the needle jet. So that's why they created the uh, pilot jet with the air screw. Basically it just takes it, routes it through um, the carburetor and there's a little tiny hole 
you'll see right there. You can see that in the card body, that hole right there. The fuel is drawn through that hole by the amount of negative pressure that is you know, entering the carburetor at that point. So that's where you're getting your fuel from your low fu uh, speed fuel system. One of the devices used for metering the fuel, um, the fuel air mixture at low speed settings, you know, but uh, idle to quarter throttle, is also the um, throttle piston here, or the uh, throttle valve. The angle of this um, cutaway here, as it increases, uh, allows a smoother airflow, which brings more air in and it causes actually a leaner mixture. So that is, this is an area of adjustment that some people will use. Now from about half throttle to three quarter throttle, you're dealing with your jet needle. As you pull your throttle, the jet needle comes up, fuel is drawn in from the bowl through the main jet and up past the needle. Now what happens is these needles can be tapered, well they are tapered. And there are different sizes and styles depending on where and how much fuel you want at a given time. See this is very sharp and pointy here and this one here is a little flatter so as you raise your needle on this one more fuel will start to be drawn in faster than this one here. So that will affect the, uh, the mixture of your fuel as well at a given setting in your throttle. Three quarters to full throttle the fuel is going to be metered by your main jet here. Fuel is going to be sucked directly from the bowl right through the main jet, your needle will be almost all the way out and you're going to be just giving it as much fuel as that main jet will allow. The only way to give it more fuel is to make a to install a larger jet or vice versa if you need less fuel, it's running too, uh, too rich, then you need to jet down uh, a little bit. And the, me the reasons why you might want to jet up or down is say you've made some modifications to your sled, um, maybe you've put a set of pipes on it, you've changed the clutching, taken the air box off it, maybe put a new air box on, you know, there are a multitude of different uh, reasons you might have to do that. One other small adjustment you can make is on this needle itself here, you can see there's a little circlip. See a little circlip and there are notches. You know, by checking your, uh, I'm not going to get into the plug colors and uh, piston wash and whatnot right now, but you know, um, if you want to run your uh, engine a little richer or leaner, you can do so with this little circlip. If you move it down, you'll run richer because it'll sit higher inside the uh, jet, or the needle jet. Um, if you raise it here, then the needle will sit lower and it'll actually cause a leaner mixture and um, because it's sitting lower. Now, if you run out of settings on this needle, then you need to change um, your main jet, the size of your main jet and then work with that one as well. Alright, I think that covers uh, pretty much how the Mikuni carburetor works. I'm sure if I've left something out, somebody will mention it, as they usually do, which is good because, you know, I don't always hit everything. Um, just a quick reminder that somebody mentioned to me, and I always do practice, I do wear my safety glasses at all times when I'm working with this stuff, and especially the cleaners, and when I'm using um, uh, the high pressure air to clean out all the surfaces. So wear glasses, safety glasses, and safety gloves at all times. See, the, those chemicals will just uh, be absorbed through your skin almost immediately. Alright, thanks for watching. An invaluable resource for playing with your carburetor is uh, this Mikuni VM Carburetor Super Tuning Manual. Available online, just do a search for it and it'll come up no problem. It just details everything, you know, every part of the uh, carburetor and how everything works. It's a, you know, it's a great piece of reference material and uh, you know, it really is key when adjusting your carb.